Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 17 of our Crusader Kings 2, the Sorn is Not Dead campaign. Let's continue. Still not much stuff is happening in our personal duchy or emirate, but quite some stuff happening with Axum, Bosnia and Semians, or Semian. Hopefully it's not gonna dramatically affect us, but it's quite good, because this guy is actually bordering me right now. And he probably would would be really would really want to take some of my land. And it's not gonna be the best thing for me. Defending against Axum in Axumid Conquest of Asab. But not what kind of Axum? <laughs> what kind of war is that? Looks like some internal war, probably. I could actually declare a war on Semians. But it's gonna be really... It's gonna be really... Tough, because... All these guys are, of course, gonna join in. Actually, let's look at the... Count of a sub. Yeah, counts is fine. But this freaking guy is having even the he's having all the alliances in here. In the Baida, even in Sana, in, in Kohiri, so even if I were to declare a claim war, not a holy war, they would still be able to join in. <clears throat> so I'm gonna lose anyways. Same dynasty couldn't call in, but all the freaking these guys definitely gonna join. And actually what? What about the other guys? We could start fabricating a, a claims on them, and if... If they have... Oh no, they're just... Yeah, they're just allied all over. How the hell you managed to get so much... So much freaking children or whatever. So much marriages that you're now all allied to each other. I don't really like it. I would have enough troops to get this counties one by one, but if they all cooperated, it's not gonna happen. No one's voting for my half sister, but hopefully my my new wife, or my first wife actually. You should take a gift and be converted. Or uh, hopefully my wife could give me some children, hopefully the, uh, the male ones. So I I'm I could nominate them as my heirs. And actually while we're now sixteen so we are able to or already even eighteen. We should definitely go on the pilgrimage. And let's go to Antioch. We could claim Nobatia, even ourselves right now. Because that's actually a good thing. I don't actually know why could I claim this. Is it a strong claim? No, it's a weak claim, but... We claims against female ruins, or rulers, regencies... Oh, something. And who is third and second in line of succession? Okay, I don't know. Let's try to kill the king of Nubia for fun. My journey begins. They actually could not bribe any people, so never mind. I'm actually surprised. I was thinking that I could not. I would not be able to claim the... I could not be declared a war on weak claim. But apparently I could. I could swear filthy to him, but it sounds pretty terrible. 10 gold, some gold. I would not... I don't want to become wounded, so... We could spend 10 gold, why not? It's not big of a deal. It's actually becoming a zealous could be useful, but it's not gonna happen. Okay then, 
whatever you say, game. A great and ancient city. It definitely is. Looks like whole of Axum is almost occupied by Avacinia, so looks like they're gonna they're gonna get quite some money. And I became pilgrim. Awesome. Monthly piety, some fate opinion. And diplomacy is our just... We're just having it currently. Oh. Looks like why, why the country was ruled by the regent. We had something about 2800. And while we're ruling ourselves, looks like we're getting 1000 less. And everything thanks to our martial ability. So why the hell you did not manage to give me at least f f for second level of this martial Mm, leave me alone. Or oh, something is happening. Okay. What is happening here? Prasihara has their own revolt. Looks like Gondawa is now existing and not even at war with any with anyone. But looks like this Oh, it probably was some kind of inheritance problem. Because the Pratihara kingdom and the Gondwara kingdom actually are the same dynasty. So yeah, probably they had like a oh, few daughters and they all inherited a little bit of land. I guess it's fine, but I still could not oh, attack Gondwana because they're still strong. Keep has been built in the car. Awesome. Hopefully it's gonna raise our troop count even more. Castle town, castle fortifications. Barracks could be useful, but let's wait for a little bit more money to have spare in case of emergency. So what actually, what Semens is doing right now? Not really much. Make a move to my cousin. No, it's not appropriate. Yes, this guy is not at war. Mm, yeah, let's let's fall in love. Hopefully, it's gonna help you to give me some more children, even though you're theologian. But it's only five percent fertility. Oh, decrease. So it's not it's not as awful as it could be. I should try to declare some more wars on Abyssinia. I should definitely destroy this kingdom and try to create it myself. Now, now I have not really enough, not really enough uh, CB to declare a war on that, and I'm really, I really damn pissed about it. And what the hell? Uh, why the hell we did? We've got a money sound. I don't know if we got any money from any event or whatever just happened. But I guess it's fine. What about our vassals' opinions? Almost everyone likes us except this one guy. Do we want some money? It's too much. Never mind. Desire is the Emirate of Berbera. You're not gonna get it, sorry. Mm, interested words. Yeah. Preferably because he's ambitious. This is the main reason why he's so pissed. Hopefully your son would not be as pissed as you do. Should be looking for more tar targets to attack. It's getting really really boring without the wars, don't you think so? Maybe we should turn on Alodia. You're taking the Dukes, Duke of Axum. Oh, you're probably helping the Abyssinia. But looks like Axum is already done, so there's not really much help needed. Actually, I could not turn on Alodia. Because as well, I have no CBs on them except 
if I could fabricate any. Okay, speed four times then. Militia training grounds actually could be useful here. So let's do it. Let's try to bring our troop count as high as we could. At least it's gonna protect us from any wars from Sunnis. Because it's quite surprising. Uh, it's a quite surprise, but we did not got any wars declared on us in about like five episodes already. So it means that we could deal some damage at least, or we could protect us ourselves quite, quite good. Liberate reinforcements right? Doesn't really matter us right now because we already have full levy count. Hmm. Amir gains content trade, but I'm already content. And 20% to get stewardship. Okay. I've gained content trade. I already had it, so... Nothing really much... Changes. Oh... Oh! My spy master was captured. Learning technology, so... Now these guys a little bit pissed, but it's fine. We could continue stealing, oh, stealing technologies because we're not currently allied with the Byzantine Emperor, or at least it's not shown me. And why my my wife is pregnant? Hopefully, it could give me a quick son or maybe something even better. It's not showing that we are allied to the Byzantine. So his opinion about me doesn't really mean much right now. Hmm. What about this war, Abyssinia? Are we gonna end it or what? Oh, looks like you did. You've gained two provinces. And Axum is really small. Not as small as it could be. But he has no troops at all because it looks like... Because of some reason. Because all of the provinces in here have no uh, sub-holdings. Only the top ones. So if I would be able to... Uh, if I would be able to fabricate any claims on Axum, it would be quite useful. Oh, one marshal. Yes, please. Holy War for Gosham. Looks like a lot is actually having their own war on the Axum. Okay. My cousin wants a duel. You could have it. Mm. And we have a son. Awesome. Jibril, hello. And you should be my successor then. Hopefully everyone else would vote for a male one guy. Or maybe not. This guy has actually quite a lot of good traits. So this is probably why everyone is votes for him. But I think we're gonna oh, give our son to be educated by this guy yet again. Because we have quite an awful education ourselves. And here we have our claim on An Ankobor. So we should definitely use it and go and fight Axum while we have such a possibility. Claim Uncover, please. And we're actually gonna oh, hold to this province ourselves because we have enough demand size. And these guys could actually stay stand still. Yeah, it's it would be easy. To take this province. And we are actually... No, we are not hostile to anyone else. So that's fine. It's gonna be pretty easy war, I hope. Oh. And you got strong claim on Trinicat. And who, who are you, actually? Some kind of... Uh, some guy from Nubia. You definitely better not use it. 
Actually having this holding by myself is not really a good thing. Because it has no sub holdings. But maybe. Just maybe I could spend some money to build them myself. Medium crown authority. Nope. I'm not the part of your kingdom. Sorry, you're, you're not gonna upgrade this stuff. Or not upgrade, but increase. So we have this stuff, so after the Axum would end their wars. No, charge career. After the Axum would change, uh, finish the rest of his wars, or, or its wars, you could definitely take an cover. So, what we need to do right now is just wait. We are also what gain a ticking war score for this. And I don't really think that Axum have any more unoccupied promises. Holy War for Gosham. And this thing is actually not a Gosham, so it doesn't really concern me too much. And the second war is Holy War for Gosham as well. So yeah, they're gonna end pretty soon. And now we are able to siege the rest of his holding. So let's do it. They was just sieged a uh, few days ago, so it's not gonna be a really hard task to do it all. And what is happening here, guys? Defending against Emir of Abbasids. Hmm. I don't want Abbasids to come here, but as well I don't want them these guys to be on charge so it's probably would be a possibility for us to try and attack some of them but Abbasids would probably win because they are now really huge and their army is really powerful so even the coalition of these all guys probably would not be able to to hold them So a few more sieges should finish this war pretty quickly and we're gonna become one province, one more province stronger. Maybe with this amount of money yeah, I could consider building one more holding in this province. I would think about it. So hopefully sieging this one more province gonna be enough to get 100% war score. Even though he's having one bishop regent here, but it doesn't really matter. It's only one holding. 99%. Enforce demands, please. Thanks. Uncover is mine. Let's disband our troops. And how much does this thing cost? Only 500 gold. So let's go then and build ourselves a... Sits in here, I guess. It would not be a terrible idea. Gain one more marshal. Oh, oh, not awful, but awesome. Because our owner marshal skill penalty gonna <coughs> go down. We already kind, and I don't want to become cruel, so let's choose this one. Thank for the pointless events. Actually, uh, we should have some more claims on Axum, even though we have truce with them. But it's not gonna last for l a really long time. Or maybe even claims on Abyssinia. How do you think? I think it would be wonderful to have. Let's go for this province right now. I think in our full strength we should be able to handle war with Abyssinia. Defendant against Abyssinian revolt summons claim on Abyssinia. Okay. I guess it's not it's not gonna do much for me and looks like yeah, Abbasids just won this war without any without any troubles. And now you're 
defending in host claim <coughs> on Aiden. Host claims actually doesn't really help me a lot because all the hosts are as well Sunnis. So it's not gonna uh, become easier for me to fight against new new ruler. And actually it's uh, uh, time for me to have a break guys. So if you enjoyed watching this you could leave a like. If you want to see more you could subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment you should definitely do it. And I'd answer you as soon as I could. See you later guys. Bye bye.